Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on these characters. So here you can see uh, these characters. These are going to be the base spawn characters that we are going to use in our strategy template. Uh, so we will create the pawn uh, classes for these characters. The reason that I'm using a pawn instead of a character uh, class is because we are planning to have a lot of um, actors in the world, a lot of characters in the world that we that the player can interact with, that they fight each other, things like that. So because of performance reasons, I'm not gonna go with uh, class, uh, not gonna go with the character class. I'm gonna go with pawn, and maybe later on we will drop using skeletal meshes. We will start using static meshes as well because we can have a lot more characters in that way so yeah let's see how to implement this today in c so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and then all other thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page uh, once you become a member you can download anything without any limit so feel free to check it out and here you can see all other episodes of this series in this unreal engine 5 real-time strategy game with c++ tutorial series playlist and also if you are interested in implementing something like this but with blueprints you have this playlist which i have covered uh, a lot of strategy game type of mechanics how to implement them using blueprints here so uh feel free to check that out as well if that is what you want right now let's get back to today's episode okay so this is what we have implemented so far we can move around and we can zoom in zoom out with the mouse way so the next step is implementing characters for our rts template so the first thing is here so i'm not going to use character class new c++ class here i'm going to use this pawn template next i'll call it maybe clm base form and i'll add it to top down utilities module I'll click create okay now here is the clm based one c plus plus and header file now we need to add a capsule component and a skeletal mesh and a floating movement component floating pawn movement component i'm not going to use character movement component because i am planning to have many characters for the rts game and maybe later on instead of a skeletal mesh we will use uh, animated static mesh but for now i'm gonna go ahead with a skeletal mesh so let's start a private section and capsule component Instead, uh, skeletal mesh. These are the things that we need to add. So, first thing is this. So, here let's use uh, the object. DR and the type you capsule component and name it capsule component and here we need a U property specifier so I'm going to use this visible anywhere blueprint read only category collision meta allow private access so here 
So since we are using uh, over declaration, I'll define the class here. Similarly, for this Telgo mesh, the object PTR use key. Use skeletal mesh component, let's call it skeletal mesh. This is also needs to be forward defined thing is floor in bond moment of oh, this category I'll use bond same as before Type is U floating bond moment. Let's call it floating bond. Uh, maybe not component, it becomes too long. Okay, oh, it should be. All right, these are the components we need, and we don't need to change anything else for now. So, now let's go into the here. Uh, one thing maybe I should put this part first. Yeah. Now, let's go to the constructor. So before we add we create components for each section i need to add relevant header files for capsule component and skeletal mesh component and floating bond moment components so these are the three header files that we need to add for them right now we can create them so Component equals default sub object from the type you can see component here you can use a different name if needed as the visible name of the component. And I'll set this as the root component of this bond. And create the mesh. So Mesh equals same as this but with cube skeletal mesh component for the skeletal mesh and the next thing is floating phone moment. Loading on Okay, all right. Now save everything. Go back here 
into the project and compile. Compile and done. Right. Now, under top down utilities, public, here you have CLM base form. Then, based on this, let's create a new blueprint child. But before that, I'll add the blueprint, game framework. Uh, let's add a new folder here. So that we can save our child into that folder. Let's name it BP CLM Baseball. Right. Now, here you see we have a capsule component and under that a skeletal mesh. So, now we need some character mesh. So, let's import a character mesh into this plugin itself. For that, here under content, I'll add a new folder. And I have this. I'm going to use this character from Mixamo. I have downloaded this mesh by just pressing download and also. I have downloaded some idle animation. You can just select any any, any idle animation you want. I think I used uh, this one. So I downloaded this without the skin. So we don't need to download the character mesh again. Now here, this is the mesh night. And this is the unarmed idle, and this is walking. This is a running animation. So, night. Let's go. Oh, maybe before that, let's create a new folder. Night. The character's name is night. That's why I call it night, but we wouldn't use this as a night. Okay, skeletal meshes. One thing is here by default, we get this uh, characters face in y direction. To avoid that, we can offset the rotation like this. And it is a skeletal mesh. Import. Right, better again drop. Now you can see it is facing the forward direction. All seems good. And let's structure this a little bit. Yeah. Materials and textures. Yeah. Okay, save everything. Now let's import the animations. Skeleton, okay. Import. Okay. Now here we have working animation running. Right. So now I'll use this night skeletal mesh as the skeletal mesh component, and just for demonstration let's use animation asset and unarmed idle so here you see the scales does not match quite match correctly so i'll set 90 as the height and half height 
move this down minus 90 oh this is a scale is the okay we forgot to i think we forgot to make this a child of capsule component let's go back yeah we forgot that set up attachment and the parent is Okay. No. Still not updated correctly. Let me close this and compile from here. Have an error. Okay, restarted the project. Go ahead and but now we have the transform component. I think that's a side effect of live coding, not correctly updating components as we make changes, but usually works fine if you close the editor and build from uh, the visual from visual studio right now let's go back this is here minus 90 of oh, no rotation minus 90 yeah now it's correct so now here if i drag and drop and Oh, this is just the mesh. Yeah, now we have characters, but we can't really do anything. We can't select them and issue commands. That is something we will work on in upcoming episodes. So here is our final version for today okay so thanks for watching and as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye